Well, it sure took its translational time. But this also answered one of my questions for a very, very long time. The question is said that uh, I have I, everything that Gother had. I said once before, as soon as Gother's past chapter was revealed, everything Gother did, he did unconsciously. I mean, uh, not in the flashback, but his love for stories, his regard, his seemingly disregard for feelings, and uh, many, many things more. I said in that video that it, he did that unconsciously, remembering his past, and this basically confirmed that that was the case. Because Merlin says to everyone else that enchanted heart is is merely a toy, or maybe a more a memento that uh, the real Gother created to dull Gother in order to convince him he had a heart. Don't get me wrong, Gother did have a heart, but it was not the the so-called magic heart the real heart inside Gother existed in him uh, after all he was a doll but he was the most perfect doll of ever he was created with emotions and feelings the only reason why Gother did not have it is because he erased his memories therefore he has lost the fact that he had a heart so the but the chap that's the end of the chapter Diana interrupts uh, Gother's trying to brainwash, so Gother tries to attack Diana, but Diana shows that the um, that the her uh, flashback method has actually gained a grasp, better grasp at her dancing skills, and with that dancing dancing skills, her power has increased. Seeing that it appears that when she is shrunken, her power level is shrunken too. In a shrunken state. Her power level is 15,100, meaning, uh, and according to her, if she keeps on dancing, the power level will only surge more. Meaning that we finally have someone who may very well have uh, a chance against the Ten Commandments. Uh, and seeing that this is Diana in a shrink shrinking state and can increase the power further, things have finally gotten interesting. Gotham makes a break for it but gets stopped by a king who now is revealed to have a power level of 41,600. So yeah, and he can finally utilize the true power of his chaste, chaste foil um, quickly. So this, finally, many of the other seven deadly sins have power levels that are actually equal to the Ten Commandments. Merely... Do not count because well she is have a magic. Now then that technically only leaves Ban as the weakest of all the deadly sins. Huh. How is he gonna get a strong power? Wonder if we ever gonna get a secret treasure too. No, we're probably not. And why am I saying that leaves Ban? Because as soon as they stop Merlin, uh, so Veronica appears. But Veronica, who looks just like uh, Nadia, actually makes uh, Gother temporarily stunned. With that, Diana grabs Gother and uh, forces him to reflect onto himself, wondering why, uh, as Gother keeps having a breakdown, on why the noise in his head won't disappear. Merlin appears and reveals what I just spoiled in the beginning that uh, Gother's mind is not being unstable nor is the fact that he erased because he just didn't know it's simply because his body is starting to remember and therefore his body is reacting in fear because he don't want to remember uh, it, Goth, because Gother had a heart all along that magic heart was only a memento not a real magic heart after all because Merlin reveals the past of when uh, Gother tried, as we saw, to revive Nadia, but couldn't. So, um, so in fear, he erased his own memories. This also answers when he erased Diana's memories back then, when he had a breakdown that too before I disappear. So Diana screams to Gother to get a grip, because even if you 
lost someone, you still have us. We are your comrades and we will remember everything. With those words, Gothar is finally forced to reveal the mementos, those precious memories he had all those many years ago. The moment that when he met the girl he fell in love with, Nadia, and many things more, as he looks into the memories and finally remembers his father saying, please fulfill the dreams I couldn't do on my own. With that, uh, Gother embraces his inner memories and therefore his inner heart. And the proof of that is the fact that he, is t he sheds tears. With the memories and his true heart uh, into him recovered, Gother's power level suddenly accretes to a huge amount, therefore leaving Merlin and, uh, uh, and Bon as the real weakest members of the Seven Deadly Sins. Then again, Merlin has an infinite magic loop, so technically that I think that can increase the power level. So that leaves Ban as the own weakest of all the sins, but, but he compensates that with an immortality. I mean, he can still get his soul kicked, but... Uh, and, I mean, th this is one is the strange part. It is confirmed that the purgatory flames can nullify Ban's powers, but it can also seemingly not kill him. I mean, it can give him a scar that can't heal, but it doesn't seem to kill him, although Meliodas probably didn't went for the absolute kill when he scarred Ban's face. What I'm trying to say is, Ban has immortality, so no matter how big of a power level, he can be blasted, 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 but he will just recover. Unless the soul is taken. With Gother's memory is uh, return, returned and the heart too. He finally embraces the inner person he was. As he thanks Diana. She smiles at him. and But the king stops Gother from hugging uh, uh, Diana. Maybe because of jealousy. And it's then that Merlin reveals that the memento heart was just a charm to comfort the the doll which you saw with the real Gother saw as a son. With that all the seven deadly sins are finally reunited for real and uh, it seems that we're only gonna get further into the fillers as uh, next chapter is called The Hero's Day Off. I mean technically well, this should be the last time the heroes should have a day off. But, well, whatever. If they're gonna have a day off, then let them have a day off. I guess it's not the end of the world. Oh yeah, I forgot. We still have the Ten Commandments rolling around the world. But now, finally, as I said before, someone other than Meliodas have a power level that at least can give the surviving Ten Commandments a run for their money. That is, of course, if unless the Ten Commandments go full Ind Indura, which is probably now a good reason for them to do so. What do you think about this chapter? Other than that, it was kind of heartwarming. For all this instance, I mean, as I said before, everything that Gother has done unconsciously makes now sense completely. He did it because he did have a heart. He just erased his memory of it. Then again, uh, some can argue where did the heart come from, but maybe that's magic. It was in sh I think maybe it was enchanted into him during that moment when Diana and King met the real Gother and the doll Gother. Who knows? All I know is it was... Um, a touching story. Now Gother is a real person again. So give me a fuzzy family.